Hello everyone, I think my voice is clearly audible right now. So now I will discuss in front of you a uh, very, um, uh, I will discuss in front of you a next important problem related to transportation engineering. Problem, we already know that problem which I will discuss in that particular course. Uh, so problem type is previous year question or most expected problems. Now, so the next question which I will discuss, the next question which I will discuss now see here. Question number one, it, this question is related to flexible pavement and the method is, uh, and the method is, I think so, the method is Burmester method. My dear friend, the question is the plate load test conducted with a 75 centimeter diameter plate, diameter of plate is given and the diameter of plate is become equal to 75 centimeter diameter of plate on a soil subgrade yield a deflection 2.5 mm. So, 2.5 mm deflection is given under a stress of 800, kilo, 800 Newton per centimeter square. It is the value of stress is given. The modulus of uh, the modulus of elasticity of the subgrade soil. So, we already know that how to solve this type of problem. We already know that for rigid port uh, for for uh, for plate load test plate load test that means for plate load test plate load test that means rigid plate am i right so rigid plate if i will talk about plate load test what is the formula of deflection so delta is equal to 1.18 small p multiply by a upon es multiply by f2 this is the formula my dear friend if f2 is not given in the problem then you directly consider f2 is become equal to 1 am i right f2 is become equal to 1 you can directly consider it f2 is become equal to 1 my dear friend delta is directly given in the question what is the value of delta my dear friend so delta is given 2.5 mm and it is converting into a centimeter so 10 raised to power minus uh, 10 raised to power uh, the value is um, i think uh, 2.5 mm so multiply by 10 raised to power minus 2 am i right so it is converting into a centimeter i think so Am I right or wrong? No, I am wrong. So, this is 2.5 mm. So, 2.5 dividing by 10, this is the centimeter is equal to 1.18 multiplied by a small p. So, pressure is already given in the question 800 Newton per centimeter square. So, pressure is given. What is What do you mean about A? So, A that means radius. If A that means radius, so my dear friend diameter is given, then what is the value of radius? So, radius is become equal to 75 dividing by 2 and we can calculate the value of ES. Please calculate what is the value of ES. Please calculate what is the value of ES. Now, see. So, the value of ES is become equal to, where is my calculator? Here is my calculator. How to calculate the value of ES? So, 800 multiply by 75 dividing by 2 multiply by 1.18 dividing by 2.5 dividing by 10. So, the value is 1. Uh, so, value is 141.6. The value is become equal to 141.6. Uh, 1 it is Newton per centimeter square. It is the value. So, this is the value of Young's modulus of elasticity. So, the Young's modulus of elasticity is become equal to 141.6 Newton per centimeter square. That means A option is correct. Clear? Now, next problem is, the next problem is the width of expansion joint gap is 2.5 second, the 2.5 centimeter. So, width of expansion joint that means delta is given, am I right? Delta is become equal to 2.5 centimeter, it is the value of delta, delta is given. In a cement concrete pavement, the spacing between expansion joint, what is the spacing between expansion joint? So, the question is spacing between expansion joint, calculate spacing between jo uh, expansion joint. If rise in temperature 25 degrees Celsius, that means uh, change in temperature is given and the change in temperature is become equal to 25 degrees Celsius. It's not 250, it's 25 degrees Celsius. Assume coefficient of thermal expansion alpha is become equal to 10 into 10 raised to power minus 6. So, the value of alpha is 10 into 10 raised to power minus 6 per degree Celsius. The uh, the, uh, what is the question? The question is, the question is, what is the spacing between expansion joint? What is the value of spacing between expansion joint? So, now see here, if I am interested to calculate spacing between expansion joint, if I am interested to calculate expansion between, uh, if I am interested to calculate spacing between expansion joint, so we already know that, my dear friend, we, we already know that, now see here, 
what I discuss in front of you. So, we already know that uh, if I am interested to calculate, if I am interested to calculate uh, spacing between expansion and joint, we already know that delta y2 gap always be maintained after expansion. So, delta y2 is equal to L alpha t, it is the value. So, my dear friend, delta is already given 2.5 centimeter. So, 2.5 centimeter dividing by 2, dividing by 2 and uh, is equal to L multiply by alpha. What is the value of alpha, my dear friend? So, alpha is 10 into 10 is to power minus 6. And what is the value of change in temperature? So, change in temperature has become equal to 25 degrees Celsius. Now, you can calculate the value of L that means spacing between expansion joint. Anybody else? What is the value of spacing between expansion joint? So, 2.5 dividing by 2, dividing by 25, dividing by 10, dividing by e rest, uh, dividing by 10 just a bit 2.5 dividing by 2 dividing by 25 dividing by 10 dividing by e raised to power minus 6 so the value is become equal to is it is become equal to uh, actually it is converting into you can convert into uh, you can converting into a uh, you can convert uh, you can converting into a meter so the value is become equal to the value is become equal to 50 meter so the value is become equal to how much meter value is become equal to 50 meter because the correct value l is equal to 5000 centimeter it is the value 5000 centimeter we already know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so now it is converting so convert that means dividing by 100 so it is f it is equal to how much meter so it is equal to 50 meter which option is correct so i think so I think so, option B is correct, B option is correct, clear? So, it is one of the easiest problem, it is one of the easiest problem, my dear friend. Now, see, I will discuss in front of your next important problem, I will discuss in front of your next important problem and the next problem is, and the next problem is, the modulus of subgrade reaction obtained the plate bearing test in the form of load deflection curve, the pressure corresponding to the following settlement value. Uh, use compute modulus of subgrade reaction what is the uh, what is the modulus of subgrade reaction so uh, i think the diagram is not given in this question question is incomplete am i right diagram is not given in the question now see i will discuss a next problem what is the equi equivalent single wheel load uh, due to wheel assembly due to dual wheel assembly carrying uh, carrying 20440 newton uh, Newton each of the pavement thickness of 20 centimeter okay so my dear friend is uh, the question is center to center spacing between tire is 27 centimeter and the distance between the walls of tire is 11 centimeter we already know that equivalent single wheel load concept am I right you already know that equivalent single wheel load concept what do you mean about equivalent single wheel load concept so if I will talk about equivalent single wheel load concept so now see here please now see here if i will talk about in front of you equivalent single wheel load concept so equal uh, firstly we already know that equivalent single wheel load concept is valid only for dual wheel assembly am i right it is valid only for dual wheel assembly so my dear friend firstly i will draw a dual wheel assembly here so this is our dual wheel assembly so this is our dual wheel assembly am i right so, this assembly I will considering this is our dual wheel assembly my dear friend. So, this is our dual wheel assembly. This is our dual wheel assembly. So, I will considering there will be a dual wheel assembly and this is our earth surface or ground surface. So, this is our earth surface. This is our earth surface my dear friend. Uh, we already know that we already know that the load is transfer at an angle of 45 degree i always be consider i always be consider the load is transfer at an angle of 45 degree so the load is transfer at an angle of 45 degree we already know that we already know that thing so we uh, load is transfer like this at an angle of 45 degree if load is transfer at an angle of 45 degree at the place where both stresses are intersect at that place where both stresses are intersect at a depth of at a depth of here both the stresses are to be intersect are to be intersect at the depth of at the depth of which at the depth of small d by 2 what do you mean about the small d my dear friend 
small d by 2. What do you mean about small d? So if I will talk about small d, so it is inner wall to inner wall small d. Am I right? What is the value of small d is given in the question? So center to center is spacing between tire is 27 centimeter and the distance between the wall of the tires the distance between the wall of the tires small d 11 centimeter is given in the question am i right and the center to center distance is already given in the question and the center to center distance between two tire that means the value of s is already given and the s is become equal to how much and the s is become equal to 27 centimeter the s is become equal to 27 centimeter is given in the question my dear friend if i will talk about at a distance of d by 2 at a distance of d by 2 at a distance of d by 2 that means 11 by 2 11 by 2 that means 5.5 centimeter so 5.5 centimeter at a distance of d by 2 below d by 2 distance below the load is become equal to p am i right equivalent con uh, as per equivalent single wheel load concept at a distance of d by 2 the value of load is become equal to p so what is the value of p p is 20440 newton we already know that because in this question uh, directly state that the load is transfer for each for each uh, for each tire the load is transfer through each tire is 20440 newton am i right this is 20,440 Newton. Am I right? Now see here. Now see here, please. See here, please. We already know that. We already know that, my dear friend. Now see. We already know that if uh, I am discuss in if, if I discuss in front of you at the distance of 2s distance below. Am I right? If I will talk about 2s distance below. So, 2s distance below the value of load is become equal to 2p. Am I right? The value of load is become equal to 2p. So, 2 multiply by this to 2 to the 4, 0, 4, uh, uh, 4 to the 8, 4 to the 8 and 0 Newton. It is the value. My dear friend, this is the value. This is the value of 2p at the distance, at the 2s distance below. Am I right? 2s distance below from the ground level. This is the ground level and 2s distance below the value is become equal to 2p. So, 2s is become equal to s that means 27 that means for 54 centimeter depth below the load is become equal to 2p that means 40,880 Newton. What is the main question? The question is <coughs> the question is now see here what is the question so question is what is the value of load what is the value of equivalent single wheel load at 20 centimeter thickness am i right or 20 centimeter depth so suppose that i will considering in front of you i will considering in front of you this is 5.5 centimeter depth this is 54 centimeter depth so this is the value of 20 centimeter depth this is the value of 20 centimeter depth am i right and the this is the value of 20 centimeter this is 20 centimeter depth clear to all this is 20 centimeter depth what is the value of load at 20 centimeter depth so suppose that i will considering the load below 20 centimeter depth is pz pz so now how to solve it how to calculate the value of pz how to calculate the value of pz how to calculate the value of pz please give me an answer my dear friend linear interpolation we can use linear interpolation so now see here how how we can use a linear interpolation we already know that log 10 log 10 d by 2 what is the value of log 10 d by 2 so log 10 d by 2 uh, the value of the value at log 10 d by 2 is equal to log 10 20,440 Newton. Am I right? Similarly, what is the value of log 10 2s? What is the value at log 10 2s? So, the value is become equal to log 10 40,880 Newton. Am I right? Next is what is the what is the value at log 10? What is the value of log 10 20 centimeter? What is the value of log 10 20 centimeter? So suppose that I will considering log 10 pz. Clear? Now see here. 
we can also return like this log 10 d by 2 is become equal to log 10 5.5 centimeter and if i am interested to calculate if i am interested to calculate 2s so we can also return like this log 10 54 centimeter now by the help of linear interpolation we can calculate the value of pz how to how to solve this linear interpolation this minus this upon this minus this am i right so now see how can return like this log 10 54 minus log 10 5.5 dividing by dividing by what dividing by log 10 40880 minus log of 10 20,440 is equal to, is equal to, is equal to what? So, is equal to this minus this, am I right? This minus this, that means log 10, 20 minus log 10, 5.5, log 10, 5.5 dividing by log 10 pz minus this. So, the value is log 10 pz log 10 pz minus log 10 20,440 clear so you can calculate the value of pz what is the value of pz my dear friend what is the value of pz please give me answer so the pz is become equal to so the value of pz the value of pz is become equal to what is the value of pz please solve this problem please solve this problem and calculate the value of pz calculate the value of pz clear so you can calculate it uh, you can calculate it and the correct value i think is become equal to 30000 something that means d option is correct approximate d option is correct so now i will discuss in front of you a next problem and the next problem is also very very interesting my dear friend this problem related to modified cbr method clear this problem related to modified cbr method Modified as per modified CBR method. Now see here how to solve this problem. The data given below, uh, it's not a pertain. It is certain. The certain to the design of a flexible pavement. Initial traffic is one two one three CVPD. CVPD that means commercial vehicle per day. So traffic volume is given, but it is an initial traffic volume. My dear friend, the traffic growth rate is eight percent. Traffic growth rate is eight percent per annum design life is 12 year okay so each and every data is given vehicle damage factor is 2.5 lane distribution factor is 1.0 the main question is that design traffic in terms of million standard excel million standard excel that means msa we already know that 1 million is become equal to 10 lakh am i right we already know that the 1 million is become equal to how much lakh 1 million is become equal to 10 lakh we already know that my dear friend see here so the value of a is given in the question and the value of a is one two one three c v p d c v p d that means one two one three commercial vehicle per day okay, na? so this is commercial vehicle c denote commercial or v denote vehicle p denote per and d denote day to so, c v p d that means one two one three c v p d that means one two one three commercial vehicle per day my dear friend see here please if i am interested to calculate traffic growth rate so traffic growth rate is already given this traffic growth rate is eight percent per annum the traffic growth rate is become equal to eight percent per annum Similarly, design life, what is the value of design life? So, design life is become equal to how much year? So, design life is become equal to 12 year. Vehicle damage factor, that means VDF. So, vehicle damage factor is become equal to 2.5 and distribution factor, lane distribution factor, that means LDF is already given in the question. LDF is become equal to 1.0. Am I right? The question is, what is the design traffic in terms of million standard excel so the formula we already know that the formula what is the formula my dear friends so if you if you write a formula here so formula is become equal to ns that means number of million standard excel is become equal to ns is become equal to 365a the value is 365a under bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to power n minus 1 dividing by r by 100 dividing by 
आर बाय हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाई बाय लेन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर मल्टीप्लाई बाय व्हीकल डैमेज फैक्टर एम आई राइट दिस इज द फॉर्मूला नाउ यू पुट द वैल्यू हियर एंड गेट द गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एस दैट मीन नंबर ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एक्सएल नंबर ऑफ मिलियन नंबर ऑफ क्यूमुलेटिव स्टैंडर्ड एक्सएल और इन टर्म्स ऑफ मिलियन एम आई राइट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मिलियन सो मिलियन दैट मीन्स टेन लैख इज इक्वल टू वन मिलियन दैट मीन्स टेन डेज टू पावर सिक्स एम आई राइट नाउ सी हियर now you put the value each and every data is directly given in the question so if you put the value my dear friend 365a what is the value of a so the a is become equal to 13 cp cvpd under bracket 1 plus r by 100 r that means 8% dividing by 100 Raised to power n, the value of n that means design life is 12, 12 year minus 1 dividing by r by 100. r by 100 that means 8 upon 100 multiply by LDF, lane distribution factor. So lane distribution factor is 1 multiply by VDF. So VDF is become equal to 2.5. So if I am interested to calculate NS, that means number of cumulative standard XL is become equal to. Anybody else? What is the correct answer? anybody else what is the correct answer my dear friend what is the correct answer so the correct answer is become equal to 8 by 100 1 plus answer whole raised to power 12 minus 1 Multiply by 365. Multiply by 1 to 1 3. Dividing by 8 by 100. Multiply by 1. Multiply by 2.5. So I think the value is 21 million standard Excel. Am I right? So 21 million standard Excel. It is the value. This is the value. So that means the answer is 21. C option is correct. Am I right? So option C is correct. Question is very easy. Very easiest problem. now see here my dear friend now see next question which i will discuss here next question which i will discuss here question is very interesting highly interesting problem and the question is the question is the following data to the number of commercial vehicle per day for the design of flexible pavement for a national highway as per irc 37 1984 assumes assuming a traffic growth rate factor 7.5% per annum am i right for both the types of vehicle the commercial vehicle of the standard excel reputation in million for the design life is 10 year design life is given and uh, traffic growth rate is given so design life <coughs> i will considering design life so design life what uh, design life that means n n is directly given in the question and the n is become equal to 10 year and what is the traffic growth rate my dear friend so traffic growth rate is already given the traffic growth rate is 7.5% per annum so traffic growth rate that means r is become equal to 7.5% per annum it is traffic growth rate is given what is the question so the question is what is the Uh, what is the million standard excel what is the cumulative standard excel reputation in terms of million standard excel so now see two excel truck and tandem excel truck 200 number of vehicles per day that means traffic volume that means traffic volume is given 200 or 2000 or 200 and the vehicle damage factor 5 and 6 given respectively but in that particular problem in that particular problem our uh, lane distribution factor is not given in previous class i already discuss so in life class i already discuss uh, if uh, lane distribution factor is not given in the question then you directly consider lane distribution factor is become equal to 1 now how to solve this problem so firstly i am uh, firstly see here please firstly i am uh, firstly now firstly i calculate number of cumulative number of million standard excel in terms of two excel truck then i am calculate million standard excel number uh, cumulative number of standard excel in terms of million tandem excel and after that uh, addition for these two so now see if i am interested to calculate total number of standard excel in terms of million standard excel so million standard excel ns is equal to ns1 plus ns2 
now how to calculate ls1 so ns1 is become equal to 365 a what is the value of a so the a is become equal to 2000 am i right so what is the value of a so this is 2000 under bracket 1 plus r by 100 traffic growth rate is 1 1 plus r by 100 that means 7.5 dividing by 100 whole raised to power n n that means 10 minus 1 dividing by r by 100 so the value of r by 100 is become equal to 7.5 dividing by 100 multiply by lane distribution factor is 1 what is the vehicle damage factor so vehicle damage factor is 5 clear to all of you so this is the value of number of standard axle ns1 it is the value of ns1 my dear friend this is the value of ns1 now what is the value of ns2 so ns2 is become equal to if i am interested to calculate ns2 so ns2 is become equal to the value of ns2 is become equal to 365 multiply by a a that means 200 1 plus r by 100 raised to power n so 1 plus r by 100 raised to power n that means bada bracket 1 plus r by 100 that means 7.5 upon 100 raised to power n minus 1 n that means 10 minus 1 dividing by dividing by r by 100 that means 7.5 dividing by 100 multiply by multiply by what is the multiply lane distribution factor is not given then you are considering one and what is the value of vehicle damage factor so vehicle damage factor is become equal to six so vehicle damage factor is become equal to six so if i am interested to calculate number of standard axle so uh, my dear friend if i am interested to calculate number of standard axle then number of standard axle is equal to summation of this plus this anybody else anybody else what is the correct answer what is the correct answer here nobody is available available to give me an answer huh nobody is available in this class okay so one plus answer whole raised to power 10 minus 1 multiply by 365 multiply by 2000 multiply by 5 dividing by 7.5 dividing by 100 so the value is become equal to the value is become equal to uh, the value is become equal to 51.63 ns1 is become equal to 51.63 and what is the value of ns2 so ns2 is become equal to 1 uh, 7.5 dividing by 100 1 plus uh, answer whole raised to power 10 multiply by 365 multiply by 200 minus 1 sorry it's wrong uh, 7.5 dividing by 100 plus 1 whole raised to power 10 minus 1 multiply by 200 multiply by 365 multiply by 6 dividing by 7.5 dividing by 100 so the value is 61 6.19 6 6.196 million standard excel so number of cumulative standard excel is plus uh, this is 6.196 plus 6.196 plus 51.63 so the value is 57.826 57.826 million standard excel it is the value of ns am i right this is the value of ns so the value is uh, what uh, which option is correct 57 point something something the 57.826 is the correct answer the value is 50 uh, 57.8 that means b option is correct clear to all of you so this is the correct answer b option is correct similarly next problem which i will discuss here which I will discuss next problem. So the next problem is the width of the expansion joint is 20 centimeter. Okay, very good question. And the question asked in gate 2007 IIT Kanpur. So the question is the width of the expansion joint is 20 centimeter in cement concrete pavement. The lane temperature is 20 degree Celsius. Lane temperature is given 20 degree Celsius and the maximum slab temperature in summer in 60 degrees Celsius. The coefficient of thermal expansion is 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 
uh, mm per mm per degree Celsius. That means mm to mm cancel out. That means per degree Celsius. And the joint compress uh, com joint compresses up to 50 percent of the thickness. The spacing between expansion joint should be very easy question. We already know that expansion joint provided in such a way that expansion joint always be provided in such a way that. Expansion joints are provided in such a way that expansion joints are provided in such a way that after compression delta by 2 gaps should always be maintained. We already know that. Am I right? So, delta by 2 gaps which always, always be maintained. So, the formula is become equal to delta by 2 is equal to the formula is delta by 2 is equal to L multiply by alpha multiply by T. What do you mean about T? So, the value of T is become change in temperature. Am I right? So, the value of T is equal to change in temperature. My dear friend, now see here, if I am interested to calculate delta by 2, what is the value of delta? So, delta is 20 mm is given, 20 dividing by 2 is become equal to L. L that means spacing multiply by alpha. What is the value of alpha? So, the value of alpha is become equal to 10 into 10 is to power minus 6 per degree Celsius mm per mm. So, mm say mm cancel out. That means the value is 10 into 10 is to power minus 6 per degree Celsius. Clear? 10 into 10 is to power minus 6 per degree Celsius and the uh, okay, okay, and and uh, change in temperature. The change in temperature is 60 degree Celsius is the highest, and construction is 20. So 60 minus 20 is 40 degree Celsius is the change in temperature. We can calculate the value of capital L. We can calculate the value of capital L, my dear friend. So 10 to 10 cancel out. So the value is become equal to 40 meter. Am I right? So the value is become equal to how much meter? 40 meter is the value. Correct value is become 40 meter. Clear? very easy problem very easy so my dear friend next question next question next question is also very important and very easy the question is during the cbr test during a cbr test cbr test that means california bearing ratio test it's a very important for gate point of view so uh, during a cbr test the load sustained by a remolded soil sample at 5 mm penetration is 50 kg Am I right? If you are applying a 50 kilogram load, then piston is to be penetrate is it is in 5 mm. Am I right? That means uh, that means 50 kg. If you are applying a 50 kg load on a uh, if you are applying a 50 kg load on soil sample, then the piston is penetrate is in 5 mm. Clear? So what is the value of CBR percent? So we already know that if I am interested to calculate CBR percent, so CBR percent that means P5 that means load corresponding to 5 mm penetration uh, load corresponding to 5 mm penetration so it is the ratio of load corresponding to load corresponding to 5 mm penetration load corresponding to 5 mm penetration dividing by standard load dividing by standard load at 5 mm penetration dividing by standard load dividing by standard load at 5 mm penetration dividing by standard load at 5 mm penetration so now see here my dear friend now see here load corresponding to 5 mm penetration that means p5 and standard load corresponding to 5 mm penetration that means 2055 kilonewton so, uh, kilogram, sorry. So, what is the value of P5 and multiply by 100? What is the value of P5? So, P5 is already given. The value of P5 is 50 kilogram dividing by 2055 kilogram and multiply by 100. So, my dear friend, the correct answer is, correct answer is 50 dividing by 2055 multiply by 100. So, the value is become equal to 2.43 percent. 2.43 percent that means which option is correct that means 2.4 percent this option is correct option d is correct clear so option d is correct it is the value 2.4 percent option d is correct now see i will discuss in front of you a next problem and the next problem is also very interesting gate 2014 iit iit khadakpur and the question is and the question is a traffic uh, uh, the question is 
our traffic survey conducted on a road yield and average daily traffic is 5000 vehicles average daily traffic is given in the question average daily traffic is given in the question and the value of average daily traffic is become equal to 5000 vehicle per day am i right 5000 vehicle per day the axial load distribution of the same road is given in the table is table mein hamare liye given hai the design period of the road is 15 year okay so design period is already given in the question the design period is become equal to 15 year 15 year design period is given the yearly traffic growth rate my dear friend the yearly traffic growth rate that means value of r is already given what is the value of yearly uh, what is the value of yearly traffic growth rate yearly traffic growth rate is become equal to 7.5 percent and the load safety factor is 1.3 load safety factor is already given and the value of load sa uh, factor safety factor is 1.3 and vehicle damage factor calculate by the help of above uh, by the help of below data am i right the data is given in the table using this using this data we can calculate the value of vehicle damage factor then how to calculate vehicle damage factor here how to calculate vehicle damage factor so vehicle damage factor is become equal to how to calculate we already know that the value is f1 upon 100 under bracket l1 upon ls whole raised to power 4 am i right plus f2 upon 100 plus f2 upon 100 l2 upon ls whole raised to power 4 and so on and so on this is fourth power law am i right this is fourth power law that means if i am interested to calculate vehicle damage factor then vehicle damage factor is become equal to what is the value of f1 so f1 that means frequency that means f1 is 10 percent 10 percent that means we can return like this 10 by 100 l1 is 18 ls is 8.2 yeah 8.17 tons that means standard load standard axle load what is the value of standard axle load so standard axle load we already know that the value of standard axle load is become equal to 8.17 tons 8.17 tons is considered as a standard axle load hold raised to power 4 plus what is the value of f2 so f2 is become equal to frequency 20 percent that means 20 dividing by 100 20 dividing by 100 l2 that means 14 dividing by 8.17 tons whole raised to power 4 plus what is the value of this so this is 35 so this is 35 dividing by 100 value is 35 dividing by 100 so the value is 10 dividing by 8.17 whole raised to power 4 clear plus 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 the value is plus the value is 15 percent that means 15 dividing by 100 15 dividing by 100 under bracket 8 dividing by 8.17 8 dividing by 8.17 whole raised to power 4 plus plus uh, 20 percent that means 20 dividing by 100 20 dividing by 100 under bracket under bracket 6 dividing by 8.17 whole raised to power 4 this is the value now you can calculate the value of vehicle damage factor what is the value of vehicle damage factor if you are calculating here if you are calculating what is the value of vehicle damage factor so now calculate please i know it is a very lengthy calculation I know it is a very lengthy calculation actually. Am I right? It is a very lengthy calculation. So, I think solved problem is also available here. Just a wait please. Just a wait. I think solved problem is also available here. Mm. So, just a wait please, I directly wrote an answer here because calculation is very lengthy. Because calculation is very lengthy my dear friend, just a wait please, just a wait, only for few seconds. So, frequency is 10%, 20% is given, that means question number 43. So, the value of, so the value of, a vehicle damage factor is become equal to 4.988. 4, 4.
after calculation we get the value 4.988 it is the value of vehicle damage factor and lane distribution i think directly given in the question na? lane distribution factor is 1.3 is already given okay <laughs> so we can calculate the value of cumulative standard excel if i am interested to calculate the value of cumulative standard excel then cumulative number of standard excel is equal to 365a a that means what do you mean about a so a that means a that means traffic volume after completion of construction so the value is 5000 vehicle per hour is 5000 vehicle per day is given so the value is become equal to multiply by 5000 vehicle per day multiply by 1 plus r by 100 so what is the traffic growth rate traffic growth rate is already given in the question the traffic growth rate is become uh, the design life 15 year and traffic growth rate 7.5 percent is given in the question so 1 plus value is 1 plus r by 100 that means 7.5 by 100 whole raised to power n the value of n is 15 minus 1 dividing by r by 100 r by 100 that means 7.5 dividing by 100 multiply by lane distribution factor lane distribution factor is 1.3 and vehicle damage factor is become equal to 4.988 now you can calculate the value of number of standard excel now you are calculate you are totally able to calculate the value of number of standard excel now what is the value of number of standard excel what is the value so please calculate it after calculation you get the value 309.08 value is 309.08 million standard excel it is the value of ns this is the number of standard excel and the number of standard excel is become equal to 309.08 million standard excel this is the correct value am i right this is the correct value my dear friend so now next problem it's this problem is very easy next problem and the next problem is next problem is the radius of relative stiffness of rigid pavement p and cube denote uh, the den denotion this the denote like lp and lq radius of relative stiffness that means lp that means radius of radius of relative stiffness of pavement p and radius of relative stiffness of pavement q respectively the geometric and material property of concrete slab undrying soil are given below all these properties are given below now what is the value of ratio of lp and lq the main question is what is the ratio of lp upon lq so we already know that the formula is if i am interested to calculate the ratio of lp upon lq so the value is e h cube e so uh, for road p what is the value of e e is become e multiply by h cube what is the value of h that means capital h whole cube dividing by 12 k dividing by 12 k what is the value of k so k is become k 1 minus mu square 1 minus mu square so mu is become mu 1 minus mu square whole raised to power 1 by 4 am i right and if i am interested to calculate lq lq so what is the value of lq so lq is become equal to e hq e multiply by 0 0.5 h whole cube dividing by 12 k so dividing by 12 12 what is the value of k here so k is become 2 k am i right so write down k is become 2 k and 1 minus mu whole square 1 minus mu 1 minus mu square 1 minus mu square whole raised to power 1 by 4 my dear friend ehq uh, just a wait please just a wait uh, uh, e to e cancel out 12 to 12 cancel out k to k cancel out 1 minus mu square to 1 minus mu square cancel out hq to hq cancel out so the remaining value is become equal to so this value is become equal to 1 i think right? this value is become equal to 1 1 dividing by 0 0.5 whole cube 0 0.5 whole cube dividing by 2 am i right this is the correct value which is remaining this is the correct value which is remaining i think so i think so this is the correct value which is remaining clear to all of you so my dear friend this is the remaining uh, this is the value which is remaining now you can solve this particular value and whole raised to power 1 by 4 is also remaining 
whole dash to power 1 by 4 is also remaining. So, what is the value which is the correct answer? So, the question is, the question is, what is the ratio of LP upon LQ? What is the ratio of LP upon LQ? This is the correct answer. Am I right? This is the correct answer. Now, see my dear friends. Now, see here. See here, please. I will discuss next problem. I will discuss next problem here. What is the next problem? This problem is in gate 2018. Okay. Question is very easy related to geometric design. This question related to geometric design. What is the correct? What is the answer? Now, please tell me. What is the correct answer? Anybody else? See here, how to solve this type of problem. So, the problem is a 7.5 meter wide. The problem is a 7.5 meter wide two lane road. A 7.5 meter wide two lane road on a plain terrain. Am I right? I have been considering a 7.5 meter wide. Uh, two lane road on a plane terrain on a plane terrain is to be laid along a horizontal curve of radius 510 meter is to be laid is to be laid along a horizontal curve of radius 510 meter for a design speed of 100 kilometer per hour for a design speed of 100 kilometer per hour super elevation is provided as per irc 73 1980 Considering acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. Okay. The label difference between the inner and the outer edge. Please read the question carefully. The question is what is the label difference between inner and outer edge? What is the label difference? In this question, never be asked, never be asked the value of super elevation. The question is what is the label difference between inner and outer edge? Am I right? So, my dear friend, we already know that if I am interested to calculate super elevation, so super elevation is become equal to super elevation provided is become equal to V square upon 225 R. V square upon 225 R. Now you put the value. What is the value of speed? So speed is already given. The speed is become equal to 100 square dividing by 225 R. So 225 multiply by what is the value of radius? So radius is become equal to 510 meter is given. Now what is the value of super elevation E? So the value of super elevation is become equal to 100 square dividing by 225 multiply by 510. 225 multiply by 510. So the value is 0 0.087, but it is never be equal to E max. So the value of super elevation provided. So the value of super elevation provided is equal to 0 0.087. Zero 07 it is the value that means 7 percent because plane and rolling area is given in the question am i right because plane and rolling area is given in the question now the see here my dear friend so e provided that means super elevation provided is equal to 7 percent 7 percent that means 0 0.07 it is the value of super elevation we already know that uh, we already know that suppose it is a road this is our inner edge and this is our outer edge and this is this is our outer edge outer edge like this so the question is what is this label difference so i will considering this label difference is become equal to x am i right and this is the width is also given and width is become equal to how much meter width is given equal to 7.5 meter it is the value of width we already know that Ki width is become equal to w plus w e but radius is greater than 300 meter radius is greater than 300 meter hence extra widening is not considered extra widening is not considered clear so now see here please now see here please so if i am interested to calculate if i am interested to, to calculate what is the value of x we already know that the slope is called e or we already know that e is become equal to e is become equal to 10 theta 10 theta is become equal to perpendicular upon perpendicular upon base so perpendicular is x base is 7.5 and what is the value of e so e is 0 0.07 you can calculate the value of x x has become equal to 0 0.7 multiply by 7.5 0 0.07 multiply by uh, 7.5 so the value is become equal to 0 0.525 meter it is the value 
so the value of x is become equal to 0.525 meter and the value of x is become equal to 0.525 meter that means the label difference between inner and outer edge has become 0.525 meter this is the correct answer this is the correct answer see here please next question it is one of the easiest problem it is one of the easiest problem so the question is it is proposed to be widened and strengthen existing two lane national highway as a divided highway the existing traffic in one direction is 2500 commercial vehicle per day the construction will take one year my dear friend the construction will take one year construction will take one year this is very important statement the cbr of soil subgrade is found to be 5% okay the traffic growth rate for 8% traffic growth rate is already given and the traffic growth rate is 8% vehicle damage factor 3.5 am i right vehicle damage factor 3.5 design life 10 year design life is become equal to 10 year and the traffic distribution factor traffic distribution factor that means lane distribution factor lane distribution factor 0.75 given to you what is the what is the cumulative commercial standard axle in terms of million standard axle so my dear friend actually me the twist is the twist is one year construction period is already given in the question if one year construction period is given in the question that means the value 2500 is equal to p not a am i right a value is directly not given in the question the value of a that means number of commercial vehicle per day after completion of construction am i right but uh, the value of 2500 this value of 2500 is number of commercial vehicle per day before the before completion of construction is given then we firstly we can firstly uh, firstly calculate the value of a that means number of commercial vehicle per day after completion of construction how to calculate the value of a so a is become equal to p1 plus r by 100 p1 plus r by 100 raised to whole raised to power x x is not a bewafa x is the construction time am i right x is the construction time so my dear friend if i am interested to calculate the value of a what is the value of p so p is become equal to 2500 1 plus r by 100 what is the rate what is the traffic growth rate so r is become equal to r is become equal to how much 8% is given so 8% is given that means 8 by 100 and x that means construction period is 1 one year so x i put x is become equal to 1 what is the value of a so a is 8 dividing by 100 plus 1 multiply by 2500 so the value is 2700 vehicles 27 number 100 vehicles per day am i right 2700 number of vehicles per day my dear friend if i am interested to calculate number of cumulative standard axle so number of cumulative standard axle is 365a what is the value of a so 365 a so the value of a is 2700 multiply by 1 plus r by 100 raised to power n so 1 plus r r r r that means 8 by 100 raised to power n that means design life is 10 year minus 1 dividing by r by 100 that means 8 by 100 multiply by lane distribution factor 0.75 or vehicle damage factor is 3.5 given in the question am i right 3.5 given in the question you can calculate the uh, value of ns that means number of cumulative uh, cumulative standard axle in terms of millions kitna 8 by 100 plus 1 whole raised to power 10 minus 1 multiply by 2700 multiply by 365 multiply by 0.75 multiply by 3.5 dividing by 8 by 100 so the value is become 37.475 37.475 million standard axel theek hai na so ns is become equal to 37.475 million standard axel 37.475 million standard axel it is the value that means b option is correct clear so in this way we can solve uh, the all the problems so, 
clear to all of you so this is some a previous year gate problem i think it is sufficient for today class i think it is sufficient for today class in next class i discuss in front of you uh, i discuss in front of you some other problem related to pavement design railway engineering and airway engineering so i think next session is the last session next session is the last session clear thank you so much jai hind to all of you jai hind jai bharat good night thank you if you are interested to join uh, revision classes or uh, fatafat revision series on gate academy civil mechanical channel so please come at 9 pm today thank you